We're very grateful for the support we've had in both designing the new building and building the new building. We've had some really generous donors going way back, even 10, 12 years ago, when the vision for this new science building was first brought forth. And those persons, we called it the Science Initiative at that time, have been hugely helpful with all of their efforts over the years in terms of supporting this, this new building. A number of us got together to see if we could catalyze an effort to grow the sciences at Aquinas, and that means growing the physical structures in Aquinas. That resulted in a couple of things. That resulted in summer research scholarships. It also resulted in an equipment endowment. And then the last thing we were trying to attempt to do was to do something about the physical facility at Aquinas. The labs when I was here definitely needed an update. Um, we had a lot of equipment that was a little bit outdated and so it was just really exciting to see all of the new equipment coming in, these beautiful lab spaces and I immediately thought the kind of teaching that we can do is just going to be really top-notch in these spaces. We had Dr. Boguslawski was here for a tour and he mentioned that he and his wife had started a scholarship at the University of Notre Dame that gave special priority for Aquinas students. And he said, and we've had several students from Aquinas take advantage of this scholarship. And he mentioned the name of one, and he mentioned Rebecca. And I said, well, I actually know Rebecca Flaherty because we recently hired her to be a biochemistry and molecular biology professor in our new program. My recent visit here was prompted by a telephone call I received from uh, Dr. Quinn. And, uh, you know, he invited me up to see the new wing on the uh, science building. And then just by happenstance, walking into one of the student laboratories, there was Rebecca. It was uh, just very surprising. Uh, and really kind of a highlight of the trip, actually. So the last time that I wrote to you, I think I told you that we had just published one of our papers. Yes, and I don't know if you remember the last little note that you sent me. You wanted to teach in a small college. And Absolutely. hey, here you are. I know, it's Congratulations. Not <laughs> <laughs> we basically have funded the, the new wing, which we're working in right now, and the other wing will be done in a, within a few months, and we really need those final donations to bring us to, to completion on the campaign. But in the new wing, we will actually have our own sim labs for maternity, med surge, public health, um, with our own debriefing room, and that will all be in the building. There's a new biochemistry molecular biology laboratory. There will also be a greenhouse on the roof, a brand new greenhouse. My role has been to try to bring this thing to fruition, but I'm very aware that I'm carrying into the future what was started before, and I'm really trying to bring forth what those visionaries started at the time. So to see him so excited about it was just uh, really kind of brought the whole thing to completion for me. If people haven't seen this building, I really would encourage them to take a look at it. And the people who designed it, who built it, who have contributed so far to it, really deserve congratulations. It was needed and they've done a really fine job. <laughs>